Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are making a coping skills fortune teller. So what you'll need is one piece of paper, scissors, and either pencils or pens, colored pencils, um, anything you want to add color and to write with. So we're going to start by making a regular fortune teller. So you'll need square paper for this. I just use regular printer paper and I'll fold one of the corners over until this side is all lined up. It's okay if it's not perfect, just try your best to make it as lined up as you can. And then you'll cut off this rectangle part And you should have a square like this. Some people like to fold it over the other side so you have a line in the middle that way. And this can help um, with when you fold it just to make it a little more exact. So now you have a point in the middle. So you'll take one corner and put it right in that point make a small triangle and you'll keep doing that with the other three sides and this should end up making like a smaller square okay So once you have this completed, you're going to flip it over and lay it flat and you'll do the same thing. So you'll see your point right there and you'll fold over your paper to make those small triangles and try to line that up the best you can. I'm never like exact with it. I just try my hardest to be um, as lined up as it can go. Okay, so then you'll fold it in half. So you have this really small rectangle and there should be like an opening right here. And you'll put your pointer finger and your thumb in that like pocket. And the first time you do it, it's kind of tricky. Sometimes I like use my chin to kind of like push it down. And once you get your fingers in there, you can give it a few practice rounds. And now we can fill in our fortune teller. So pick four colors. Um, you can use markers, colored pencils, crayons, whatever you want. And I like to draw a circle. And you're going to be spelling out these colors. So sometimes I like to write it out just so it makes it a little bit easier when you're actually playing. Hmm, what other color do I want to do?
So I have pink, blue, purple, and my last one, I'll do green. So once you have your four colors, you'll flip it over and for each small triangle, you'll write a number. I like to just go in order. Um, just remember, if you do choose a higher number, you do have to count it out. So I probably wouldn't choose something too high. I did one to eight. And this next part, I like to use a pencil just in case I mess up. So for each little triangle, you will pick a coping skill. You can either draw out your coping skill or you can write it. Um, and you'll just fill out the entire fortune teller. So I will, I'll start with drawing one. Let me know if you think you know what it is. Um, I also like to, so my first one was tennis. I also like to draw. It's supposed to be a pencil, but it doesn't really look like it. I like to go for a walk. to talk to someone. I like to journal. This one, I don't really know how I would draw it. Take deep breaths. Maybe I'll draw a square because I like to do square breathing. I also like to picture a calm or a safe place. I usually picture like the forest, maybe something with a waterfall. Um, and I also like to play with a pet. So these are mine. You can write whatever coping skills you like to use. And once you have them all written out, then you can find a friend or a family member and you guys can play together. So how you use it is you'll have them pick a color. So I'll do pink. P I N Okay, then you'll have them pick a number. So we'll do three. One, two, three. And then the second number is the number you're gonna flip up. So we'll do five. Five is picture a calm place. 
I hope you like this activity. This one, it's really fun. It's pretty easy. Um, if you like more that are similar to this, then please subscribe and like this video. Thanks everyone. Bye.